Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to the start of the Dark Anthology series. Today we're hopping in to Man of Medan. Um, I do have to clarify, I don't think I've ever actually played any of the House of... I, don't, I haven't played any of the Dark Anthology series with the exception of The Devil in Me. And even then, I didn't finish the game. <laughs> so you will you will get to see me experience this all in... all in. Well, I was going to say real time, but you know, not real time. You'll get to see me all experience this as we go along. Uh, we'll go with challenging. New slot. Play with a controller, just because that's what I'm most comfortable with. I love the way that these games look. There's just so much there's just so much effort and like detail put into everything that it just makes it look so nice. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. <laughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. <laughs> Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? He's gonna find out my future. <laughs> Uh, if I had, if I got to know my future, I'm not sure I would really take take anybody up on that. I'm not sure I want to know. Uh, curious. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he? Uh, is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? A uh, dragon or bamboo? I'm gonna go with the bamboo. It's a fish. It looks like a fish? What's the importance of the fish? Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Yeah, especially... Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Yeah, that's a, that's a terrible fortune to get when you're asking about your son. Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. Please do. I'll give it a whirl. I I make no promises. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss QTs. I'm really bad at them. Rude. 
We're doing great, guys. <clears throat> oh my god, that went that one went really fast. <laughs> yeah. Look, <laughs> I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. So is this taking place like during World War II or something? Bombing two! Cargo hold two! Also, I know they reuse a lot of the actors for the other games and stuff like that. Like those two, I think... At least the uh, the short hair, dark haired one, uh, he's in like the hidden agenda, and I think he shows back up in House of Ashes. And the other dude, he shows. Actually, I think he's in everything as well. He shows up in. Yeah, I think he shows up in literally every other one. Um, but that that main general dude that we or uh, main uh, soldier dude that we just saw, um, yelling yelling about putting them in a cargo hold too, is that Charlie from? from uh the devil in me because he looks really similar but i'm also really bad at telling if they if people look alike or not hey man hey where's my where's my 50 cents 50 cents what 50 cents come on man hey buzz off buddy. nobody pushes me around <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, that'd be the downfall to being on a ship. I don't think I could deal with the dampness everywhere. Causing things to leak now. What is that? Well, obviously not some not anything good considering those crates have skull and crossbones on them. Why are we sedating him? Hey look, this is six days before my birthday. Uh, I don't want to go out yet. We're just gonna look around a little bit first. Okay, I can't go that way. We'll ignore the very obvious... No, we're not. Oh, hello, doctor. What the hell? Uh, yeah. Doctor's dead. Which is great. This is a great time. Well, we'll take the key and we'll put it away for later. What happened to you? We're not actually going to do anything to actually look. We're just going to hover. Oh, why did why did we lo why were we locked in here? Okay. I can't go this way. Oh my god. 
uh, controls. The controls have obviously gotten better over the different games because this is these are kind of stiff. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Good plan. It's a good plan, my dude. But uh, I don't know where you think we're gonna go. We're on a ship in the middle of nowhere. An introduction of new mechanics. Okay. Hello. I didn't mean to fuck that up. Alrighty then. What the hell? I mean, what the hell? I want to explore. open that? Oh wait, it's a safe. Obviously I can't open that. Is there a way to get into the safe? Oh, uh, lovely. What's this one say? Uh, oh, Wrigley. different reasons people were okay so these were just different days that people were put into the brig is there anything else down this way or should we just go find charlie Oh, hello. I'm getting all sorts of turned around here. Oh wait, and this just brings me right back here. Okay. Well, now I know where I am. And I... How do I walk faster? walking just, just keep walking please okay okay and this is where we came from which can we are we looking nothing Oh wait, there's there's ga the gas is on the floor. You see that? As you're walk as we're walking, we're kicking it up. Look. Uh, what was that? What was what? Yeah, see, look, we're we're kicking up gas as we're walking. Hey. Try oh no, this seems like the way I wanted to go. Hello. No. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that son. 
Wait, can I turn around and go look the other way? I didn't realize that this was the way I wanted to go. No, hold on. I want to... No, let me go back. Oh. Like, to be fair, there probably wasn't anything back there, but, like, still. Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Let me continue looking around. It's a giant ass warship. There's got to be cool stuff to find. Buzz buzz. Why is this the view I'm stuck in right now? Now I can walk faster. Can I open? No. My exploration's not bringing anything up. Disappointment. I don't know if I'm actually walking any faster or not. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, <laughs> you see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? I don't think so. Continue moving along. Oh, look, a dead body. Oh, dead bodies. Multiple. Look at the gas just kicking, kicking up at our feet. What is it doing? And why isn't anybody saying anything about it? <laughs> this isn't concerning at all. Uh, Charlie's dead. Oh God, no, Charlie! Uh, nope. Little children. Little children are not 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 okay in horror games. Is that his son? Uh, that didn't do anything, did it? Oh no, I didn't mean to pause it. Oh no, I think we're having a heart attack. What was with the little kid? Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! <laughs> What the fuck is that? No. 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 Ah! 
that's fucked. We'll leave the music turned on for this episode, but next episode going forward, we're going to turn off all the music just to avoid any more copyright strikes. But I love this song too much. I feel like I have to share it at least once. <laughs> like his entrance right here is just so epic with the soundtrack. Seriously, this soundtrack is epic. I love it. Was epic. Hello, and welcome to my repository. That place probably smells like mildew because of all the old books. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. Mm -hmm. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. I prefer to live. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Yes. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions or should i say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer that's all for the moment we'll talk again soon enough we'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made definitely a mess i make no promises that everybody in here will live even if everybody lived in the quarry
The quarry was infinitely easier, in my opinion. The Duke of Milan, French Polynesia. Why aren't you wearing shoes? I don't care where we are, shoes are a necessity. You're gonna get something stuck in your foot. Witty, innocent. Motivated and insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Wait, you're going diving and you haven't gone diving? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Why would you do that? I wanted to. I I want I want more information first. I didn't, I didn't have time, you know. I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. <laughs> so, so don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. <laughs> Brad. Me too. You're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but... I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. I'm just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. Man, brothers are so embarrassing. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. I don't doubt that. Must be tough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. <laughs> I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, Go for it. just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. That's probably a bad life decision, but still. Excited and reckless. Foolhardy and relaxed. Sounds like a fun time. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> what? I couldn't this? tell. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Sure, right, let's go. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> I, I love beer. Oh, he's so awkward. Hold on, hold on. Late. Oh, wait, no, it went up. Yay. I okay, so first of all, I love that the way these games are set up, it lets you see the uh, the difference in like your relationship status. So the bottom bar is the one that you st is where it starts at, and then top one is the is like whether or not you've lowered or gained relationship with them. So empathized and accepted. 
Why are we so awkward? <laughs> Honestly. Right on, I like the cut of your ship. Fuck yeah, radical. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. <laughs> pop your cherry together. Gonna be gentle. Uh... Listen to Conrad, he'll be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Impatient and courageous. Captain of the Duke of Milan. Or on the Duke of Milan and the man of Madan. <laughs> I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh. I'd whistle if I could, but, uh. So is everybody on board and ready not to able go? to. Too much jewelry in the mouth. And here we go. Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. You, Conrad. Oh. No, the beer! The beer is gone. The beer is down. Honestly, I would do. She's kind of hot. <laughs> oh, goddamn, Brad. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Good plan. Oh, boy. Those hot picks. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Uh, optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited. Shit are. Oh, wait, no, Fuss is right here. I don't feel like he was really being frustrated, you know? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Can't dive? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I won't, you'll, I won't touch a thing. can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Sure thing, honey. Uh, okay. Well, first, can I? I want to look around. Hmm. Do we see anything on the horizon? There's our marker. Okay. Nothing cool. So, walking around. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hold on. I'm trying to... I'm trying to interact. Keep walking. Interact. Almost got the gear good to go. Interested? Need an extra hand? 
Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Your captain can totally hear you. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules she can totally rules. hear you. Well, what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Sounds good, baby. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Heck yeah, let's look. Next. Next. Can we scroll any faster, please? Oh, there's a little gap there. Oh my god, scroll! Okay. <laughs> Can we talk to her after she does listen to us bitch at her? Full nam. Felicity Dubois. And 383, diver number, birthday. Nub mer? Height is spelled wrong. Height is brown, weight is brown. Eye colors, hair, hair's color. The instructor is spelled wrong. Identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designate specialty as sanctioned by dive master. Federshin. Nice. This doesn't look kosher. You're right, it don't look kosher. She's definitely a fake. Okay. And bar 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 bar. Wait, why did we turn it off? Do you know how to use that? Uh no. No. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Uh-huh. So you're just going to let me leave it off? Wait, can I not talk to her anymore? Bye. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Go back up. Ah. Wait, no. Here, there we go. I was like, it showed up right as I walked away. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Be polite. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Uh, self-assured. Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal hey and guys, immoral. Tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, belligerent. Come on. You see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Your ass is already in trouble. And I'm sure if you ask Conrad, he'll definitely help your ass be in trouble. Huh. That was terrible. Don't what listen to me. Here? Uh, Bradical? What happened, Bradical? Tiny little kitchen. 
these quick motion moves are throwing me off. What's up? What's up? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Don't worry. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Heck yeah. Okay, I want to look around. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. <laughs> no. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. You. Shroud of Innocence. Ooh. Is this a uh, steamy romance? <laughs> Anything else in here? Lots of pillows. Can't look in that one. Okay. And then I think Brad was in this one. What's in here? Ah, damn. Denied. No entrance. Go upstairs. Anyways, let's go. Ooh, uh, you know, I already looked at that. Hello. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. Nice. The art. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Appreciative. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate captain. Uh, let's take the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Wait. Why did the relationship go down with her? Oh, wait, no, my relationship with Fliss went back up. Soon as be you and me. Out of the frying pan. All right, kids. Ha. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. <laughs> Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post uh, special. Hey, yeah. You bring your bang stick. <laughs> that front cabin is going to pop its portholes. <laughs> Couple flirting is terrible. Just to know, I don't think I'd ever do this in real life. I am terrified of the water. I, at some point, I want to go. I want to go deep sea diving with sharks. I just know I'll have an entire panic attack while doing it. Whoa, you good? More or less. Sharks, shark bait. Ooh ha ha. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Aren't you? Hey, a souvenir. <laughs> would be cool it's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody exactly if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown there that shape that's gotta be it whoa that is like way bigger than i thought damn it's pretty intact too this is a fucking remarkable find let's swim around a little and find a way in Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Yeah, why not? Sure. Why not?
pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Uh, subdued. It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Very, very kind of you. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. All right, what are we doing here? Ah, uh, yes, our uh, forged things. Put it away. Before anybody sees it. Oh no, but Alex already saw it. Okay. Um. And uh. Look around. Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. <laughs> Why are you calling them clowns? Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Yeah, what's the point of the radio if they can't even hear us? <laughs> Fuck. Ooh, it's gotten a little foggy. see anything of interest. Okay. Talk to Connie. Hey there. How's it hanging? <laughs> you look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> Uh, playful? It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, Ooh, shay, shay, shay. Like you think it's gone right over your head until smack. <laughs> You're out cold. That makes no sense. Sure I do. Romantic. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. Uh huh. <laughs> you. Ah, uh, Conrad successfully flirted with Blitz. I think it was the other way around where I successfully flirted with Conrad, but you know, whatever. Oh, it's just a picture to her. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Nothing here. Wait, go in there. Turn. Go. Go in. No? Fine, whatever. Hey, look, another picture. Why do I keep these around? I don't know, because they look good. Is it really a sea-themed ship if you're not having sea-themed pictures everywhere? Just being a little nosy. Keep walking. Oh my god, go out the door. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. No, go back in there. Did I do it? The floor texture, you see? You guys see that? <laughs> How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey. 
<laughs> your vacation. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Nice. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know? What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. And what got you into World War II? What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy. Got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. Hmm. You can use those old you stories? You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving? Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. What's that about? Ah, uh, that's not the Coast Guard. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. Which is a good thing. How should we handle this? This feels off. This feels... off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Uh, angry. Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing? Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, ten bucks cover it? <laughs> oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be right back. I need to take a short break, but I'll be back to, for this in just a bit. Okay. I'm actually going to be ending the recording here. I just had a friend text me and <laughs> he, we got some plans set up. So I will continue this in another episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.